Hi, I'm Big Potato James, and today we're going to take you through our Pick Your Path adventure game, What Next? What Next is a game for one to four players. That means you can play it solo or with other people. Now, here's a very important part. What Next is a completely cooperative game. So, you either win together or you lose together. But before we get into winning and losing, let's show you how to set the game up. First things first, you'll need to choose an adventure. Inside, you should have Drums of Koala Cave, The Skyscraper Caper, and Blinky's Great Escape. For this adventure, we'll be delving into Drums of Koala Cave. Now, take out all the cards and separate them into three decks. You've got location cards, event cards, and item cards. Next, find the time dial for your adventure and put it together like this. Lastly, take all the game pieces and place them within easy reach. You should have 12 puzzle pieces, a bag with 16 item pieces, 12 peril pieces, and finally, the puck and triangle. Now, we know this looks like a lot of stuff, but don't panic, everything will make sense soon. And don't forget, if anything goes missing, you can always get replacement parts by signing up to the Potato Club. Click the link below to learn more. Now, let's talk about the location cards. These are the cards that will guide you through your adventure. Whenever it's your turn to pick one up, read it out to the group like this. Your boat has washed up on a deserted beach. Looking around, you see a huge mountain surrounded by a sprawling jungle. And from somewhere within, you hear the sound of beating drums. At the bottom, you'll choose what to do next. For example, you could investigate the boat and take location card number two, or you could head into the jungle and take location card number three. Everyone gets to vote on which direction to go in. But if there's a tie, the player who read the card gets to decide. Once you've decided, discard the location card in your hand. Now it's the next player's turn to read out a location card. But first, there's something very important to do. Every time you take a new location card, you must rotate the time dial one space clockwise. Normally, this won't make a difference. However, when you end up on the danger space, then it's time to flip the entire location deck over to the dark side. Now, you'll have to read the dark side of the location card, which is normally a lot more dangerous. As soon as the time dial moves off the danger space, you can flip the location deck back over to the light side. While you're reading the location card, you might see an icon that looks a little bit like this. This is an event icon. If you see one of these in the middle of the card, the reader must pause the story and carry out the event straight away. Event cards feature physical challenges that you'll encounter throughout the adventure. The main types of challenge are shape build, puck push, and item search. Here's how they work. In the shape build challenge, players must arrange the blue puzzle pieces into the right shape. To succeed, you must match the shape on the card before the time runs out. Nice. Now, on to the next one. In the puck push challenge, players must shoot the puck from the base of the triangle. To succeed, the puck must land in the highlighted zone on the card. You'll get a maximum of three practice attempts before your real go. However, it doesn't count if you succeed on a practice attempt. It has to be on the real go. Finally, there's the item search. In the item search challenge, players must blindly search in the bag and pull out the correct shapes before the time runs out. Now, there's a couple of rules to remember while you're looking. Number one, you can only have one hand in the bag. Number two, you can only remove one item piece at a time. 
And number three, if you pull out three incorrect items, the challenge is over. If you succeed on the shape build or puck push challenge, you follow the tick location at the bottom. However, on an item search challenge, it's a little bit different. If you pull the right item out of the bag, you get to collect the corresponding item card. Item cards can really come in handy when you're in a tight spot, so try to collect as many as you can. Inside the deck of event cards, there's also a fourth type of challenge called mini games. These are unique challenges that only occur in very specific adventures. You'll have to explore all three of the adventures to discover them all, so make sure you're ready for anything. Okay, we've been through the location cards, the time dial, the different events and the items. There's just one last thing to talk about. The peril pieces. This is the make or break part of the adventure. Whenever you see this icon on a card, it means you'll have to add one piece to your tower of peril in the middle of the table. Here are the rules. The first two pieces must go next to each other and form a base. They must be touching. After that, every piece must go on top of the base and not touch the table. All pieces must be placed side on. And most importantly, if any of the pieces fall off the tower, it's game over and you go right back to the beginning. If you manage to reach the end of the adventure without knocking over the Tower of Peril, you all win! And that's how you play What Next. If you're ready to start, you can stop watching now and enjoy your game. However, if you don't mind spoilers, head over to the next video to watch us play through the first few cards in the adventure.